There are a lot of ways you can help the environment. Dan Stobie, he keeps bees. Honeybees are critical to agriculture, but in recent years, they've been dying at an alarming rate. A mysterious phenomenon known as colony collapse disorder has ravaged colonies around the country. But things are getting better for honeybees. And people like Dan are part of the reason. I saw a special on 60 Minutes about the decline in the, the world population of bees is down by like 70%. And the effect it has on um, agriculture and our ecosystem. And that's when I decided, okay, it's time to get the bees. I think that I'm doing something positive for the world by bringing these bees back. It's just a fascinating hobby. For me, sitting back here with, outside with the flowers and just watching them work, and it, to me, it's like very relaxing. I mean, I could sit here all day and watch them. There are more and more backyard beekeepers in New Jersey. And this is the man who should know. He's Tim Schuler, the state apiarist. And it's his job to check hives around the state, from community gardens in Morristown to rooftops in Jersey City. He's like the papa bear of Jersey beekeepers. Now see, that's a nice frame of sealed brood right there. The larvae are nice and pearly white. You see them down all in there? I mean, that's, that's, that's a sign of a good hive, man. If you're a novice beekeeper, Tim's your go-to guy. Christine Valinsky called him in when she thought she'd lost her queens. I think I just got over my head and I just felt like I needed somebody to come and go through the hive with me. Oh, there's a queen right there, see her? Oh. That's why they wouldn't accept that queen, because you have a queen in here. I know what you're wondering. Why isn't this man wearing any protection? He never does. Watch how he gets these bees into a jar to test them for mites. Long abdomen? Yeah. Wow. You just put them all in there? Yeah. How'd you do that? How'd you get them all in there? I uh, just flipped them right in their jar. Those be the field bees are gone. They're working. The guard bees are, are there, but the smoke kind of keeps them from communicating. The nurse bees that are taking, and the house cleaning bees, and those bees that are doing that sort of stuff, um, you know what? They don't know to be afraid of us. So bees don't care about us. They're too busy. But we definitely need to care about honeybees. Do you think? Fruits, vegetables, nuts, they're all pollinated by honeybees. If we lost every bee, then we would not survive. They serve a big service, and I, and I take it very seriously. I think you develop a passion for it. And you, be, you love your bees. I mean, that's why I get so mad when they, they sting me. It's like, don't you know who I am? I'm your mom. I mean, how dare you?